And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. It was a pleasant Wednesday with high temperatures reaching the mid to low 80s throughout the region, but now we're talking more cloud cover. And yes, rainfall making its way back into the viewing area. It's all thanks to a core of high pressure centralized across parts of Missouri, Kansas, as well as Oklahoma. That low will continue to track eastward up the Ohio River Valley over the next 24 to 36 hours, supplying us with scattered rainfall throughout much of that period as well. And we are already beginning to see a couple of those isolated showers pop across the southern and western portions of the viewing area. Our Precision 18 radar indicating a few light showers across parts of Montgomery County. The same can be said for Benton County, though. I wouldn't be surprised to see some of that radar interference as maybe some high moisture content here. The surface paired with the wind turbines out in Benton County. But nonetheless, isolated chances of rainfall are beginning to pop up on that radar, and it's likely they will stick around through tomorrow afternoon, especially across the southern half of the viewing area. 71 degrees, your current temperature. Wind still a bit breezy from the northeast, 9 miles per hour. The humidity only about 66% at this point. So that's why we're not really seeing much of a chance of rainfall quite yet. That humidity here at the surface, just a little bit too low to support any real long lasting high humidity in the forecast going ahead. So there's once again your chance of rainfall. That's all thanks to a core of low pressure just off to the southwest of us. That low will pass off to the east of us over the next 24 hours. Eventually, we are looking at cooler temperatures to follow that. We'll dip off to 63 degrees overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Winds from the east about 5 to 10 miles per hour. There's your round of low pressure that will migrate eastward by early tomorrow morning just off to the southwest of Indiana over southern Illinois and southern Indiana. Notice the scattered rainfall. I'd like to see this rain chance migrated just a little bit further off to the north, affecting the southern half of the viewing area once again. Rainfall amounts shouldn't amount to much more than maybe a third, maybe a four, four tenths of an inch of rainfall by tomorrow afternoon. Now it's likely that low will exit the region likely tomorrow afternoon after your lunch hour before about 2 to 3 p.m. That's when the last of the rainfall will come to an end. Will then dry out nicely throughout the majority of your Thursday. In fact, tomorrow a gradually decreasing cloud cover, but the extra moisture content here at the surface, the lack of surface heating during the first half of the day, only allowing temperatures to warm up to around 78 degrees in West Lafayette. Same story goes for Attica, 77, your high temperature in Crawfordsville for tomorrow afternoon. Now we do see those temperatures begin to warm up at least a little bit in the forecast, but nonetheless stay below average. We have that 78 degree high temperature on Thursday, Friday, 79, your high temperature. Saturday, the 80s make a return, 82, your high on Saturday afternoon. Scattered cloud cover expected throughout that day. Sunday, much of the same story. Maybe a slim chance of light rainfall arriving late Sunday evening into early Monday morning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms are expected ahead of our next round of low pressure and a cold front that will dry things out by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Nonetheless, once we get past this rainfall tomorrow, things are looking nearly flawless for that weekend. All right, sounds good. Thanks, yeah. Cameron. Well, we